Gorogoro Crater is one of the most attractive places in the world. With the crater and where you can find a lot of uh, animals, you know. Uh, of course, the, most of the tourists do go down the, the crater where you can find different species of, uh, of animals there. Uh, but also at the same time, at the brim of the Ngorongoro also presently, you can walk around the brim and then also you can go to the bombers of the Maasai. One thing is that uh, with the crater you find that the, the animals, one can say that the animals live with the people, you know, the Maasai, you know, and this is not found anywhere else, you know. Uh, the Maasai with their herds of cattle go along side by side with the, with the lions. Ngorongoro, the, the several protected areas in Tanzania, uh, different from other protected areas, Ngorongoro is a, is a, is a mud for use, where you have the wildlife and the people living in harmony together. We have several attractions. We have natural attractions and cultural attractions. In the natural attractions, we have the, the, the crater, which is known as the Ngorongoro Crater, which made the area uh, to be the eighth one of the world mm -hmm. and uh, also it is a, a World Heritage Site and a Biosphere Reserve. We have also the archaeological sites. We have the best archaeological site in the country mm -hmm. and that is the Old White Gorge. Now these archaeological sites are known as the cradle of mankind. That's where the oldest ancestor of ours was found. Over 42,000 Maasai cattle herders roam inside the famous Ngorogoro crater, feeding and watering their livestock. Despite the presence of many lions inside the crater, the Maasai livestock are rarely attacked. Ngorogoro crater is one of the world's greatest natural spectacles, bordering the Serengeti National Park to the north and west. Most tourists are drawn to the Ngorogoro conservation area by its idyllic nature and landscape. Wide plains outside the Rater Krim add yet more colours to an already attractive scenery. The challenge is how to balance between development and conservation. And this is very challenging. As you know, the problem which we are having is that uh, human population is increasing and uh, livestock numbers also are increasing and of course wildlife also is increasing but the resources remain the same. So the challenge is that uh, we have to have uh, sustainable development within the area. We have to have uh, sustainable conservation within the area and we have to, to make sure that uh, the need or the requirements we, uh, for human development doesn't succeed uh, the, 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 the availability of, uh, of, the, of the resources which we are having. Here there will be tourists will be able to meet the local people and, as, and understand the way they live and their cultural values. Mm -hmm. I'm very sure the weather in Ngorongoro is excellent. It is always cool and beautiful. Mm -hmm. So I say to our visitors, 100 times they are welcomed. And uh, definitely they will enjoy and uh, we shall never fail. Them.